Hi, my name is Dave. I'm doing my presentation on customer service. Did you know having good customer service skills is one of the top skills that employers look for when hiring new employees? According to most large companies, customer service equals profit. The definition of customer service is assistance and other resources that a company provides to the people who, are, who buy or use products or services. I would like to discuss good customer service how good customer service is delivered to the customer through good listening skills, through creating a bond with the customer, and through the ability to deal with unsatisfied customers. To have good listening skills when dealing with the customer, you should listen to your customer and not assume to know what they want. Listen to them without interruption before trying to help with their problem or their question. So for example, have you ever walked into a store and a salesperson isn't even interested in in what you actually came there for, but is concerned with showing you what products you should buy. This happens a lot, especially when you get, especially, <laughs> this happens a lot, especially when they get you to buy stuff that you don't even need. An excellent example of this is at a certain bath product store where they always get you to buy six times what you intending, what you're intending to buy because it's always buy three get three free when all you wanted was just one bottle good listening skills are done by giving your customer your undivided attention and commuting communicating with them with what their needs are rephrasing what the customer says to you is a good way of showing them that you are listening asking the customer questions to confirm what they are looking for is another great way to show that you are listening be patient and not rushing a customer also helps you to fully listen to what you what they are saying another way to listen to your customer is through surveys this usually the first thing you would think of when talking about customer service and listening but it can be a useful tool have you ever looked at your receipt and then noticed at the bottom of the bottom of it is a few sentences about taking a survey business really Businesses really want to know how your experience was so that they can improve it. Getting the customer's opinion through the survey is easy and convenient, and they really want to know what the customer has to say. Even a survey isn't a face-to-face -face experience, it's still a good way to listen to the customer. Have you ever walked into a store and recognized the sales associate, and they actually recognize you too? Right at that point, you know what they are going. Right at that point, you know that you are going to have a good experience because you feel that the sales associate knows you and you, and knows what you want. The one thing that that is one thing that is large. Wholesale stores lack a bond with their customers. Establish, establishing a bond with your customer is a key to good customer service. The rational is that if you form warm constructive relationships with your customers they will keep buying from from your store creating a bond is aimed at increasing sales but is also enhances service if the customer relies on <coughs> and trusts the sales person the customer will perceive the service to be high quality similarly people perceive medical and legal service to be high quality if if they trust their physician or lawyer. A few ways to create a bond with your customer is to create a welcoming attitude, provide exceptional service, show care and concern, make the buyer feel good, build a personal relationship and invite the customer back. A good concept to remember would to be treat the customer how you would like to be treated. Despite the best customer service people can provide some customer dissatisfaction is inedible one way to deal with customer dissatisfaction is to deal constructively with including the following acknowledging the useful point of view avoiding placing blame on the customer apologizing for a problem created by you and your company taking responsibility by act acting fast and being through thorough and following up on the problem resolution 
an example of some some of these tactics used in this situation would be a customer says this toy was supposed to be $20 that that's what the sign on the shelf said and I was trying to charge 30 I want my money back or I'm going somewhere else the best response to the situation would be to say I'm sorry for our error I will re refund your money as soon as possible I will make sure that they fix the problem right away I apologize for the mistake I am glad that you brought brought this discrepancy to our attention another approach to dealing with customer dissatisfaction is to involve the customer in working out the problem the customer the customer contact worker must sometimes deal with unreasonable requests remember that the customer probably recognizes that he or she is being unreasonable due to that argue with unreasonable do not argue with unreasonable customers but at times you must say no maintain a real realistic customer retention attitude meaning that as hard as you try to please some customers are, are worth keeping in conclusion you don't need to have have a degree from a college to have a good customer service skills good customer service can be achieved by listening to what the customer really wants establish a bond and trust with your customer and being able to resolve a customer's problem whether they are happy or angry about the situation just remember that any organization can have good customer service they don't have to have college edu educated employees to achieve customer service whether the organization organization is selling a half million dollar piece of equipment a public sector service government service or a meal at a restaurant customer service is very important to all specs of conducting business thank you